Uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning, sir. So I would like to welcome you all in the in the online virtual class today. So we are having class on critical discourse analysis, and uh, so as we had already planned today, uh, we will be sharing our uh, understanding, our readings that we have uh, done on on the materials that I provided to you. I hope all of you have uh, uh, analyzed the discourse or the question that I had given uh, yesterday. And uh, I will first present you what historical approach a few minutes and then I will listen from you. So what did you understand while analyzing the discourse that I provided you yesterday? And uh, next one, what did you understand on the videos, YouTube videos that I provided to you? So uh, I, I request you, all of you, to mute your microphone uh, during my presentation. And if you want to ask any question, you can unmute and then you can ask me the question. So, uh, I so, think Ujol is there. Uh, yes. Uh, I think Ujol is arrived, sir. Uh, who, who arrived? Ujwal, Hemraj, please call him once. Okay, uh, Hemraj is there available. Can you listen me, uh, Hemraj? Can you hear me? No. Uh, I think he's not able to uh, listen to us yet. Uh, anyway, uh, he might not have um, arranged the sound there. At least before you enter the class, please check your uh, sound sound system in your device. Okay, so uh, let me let me begin now. So I hope you you might have gone through historical approach there. What is historical approach and how do we apply in analyzing the discourse? Uh, so historical approach, also known as discourse sociolinguistic direction to CDA, that was introduced by Odak and her colleagues at Vienna School of Discourse Analysis. And Odak's works on discourse of anti-Semitism in 1990 led to the development of an approach which she termed as the discourse historical approach, that is the name and the approach uh, developed by Odak. Okay. Uh, so the term historical denotes an attempt on the part of approach which aims to integrate systematically all available background information in the analysis of an interpretation of uh, the many layers of written or spoken text. So historical means uh, everything can be uh, everything can be, are you listening to me? Okay. Can you, can you listen to me there? Yes, sir. We are listening. Okay, please. Yes, okay. Uh, so historical means, what we have to understand here is that the background knowledge, background information of any text. No, any text does not uh, come all of a sudden. The text, the talk or discourse can be based on, can be based on uh, any, you know, uh, background, historical background. Uh, so, just a minute, okay? Okay, sorry for disturbance. So I was talking about the background of any text uh, or any discourse. A discourse or uh, any text can be based on the history, 
uh, historically created. So um, we need to understand the different layers of any spoken or written text. And the results of ODAC's study showed that the context of the discourse has a significant impact on the structure, function, and context of anti-Semitic utterances. Anti-Semitic utterances, you try to understand this, anti-Semitic, uh, okay. And the special emphasis on the historical context of discourse, the process of explanation and interpretation is a feature that distinguishes this approach from other approaches. The particularly the historical context and the process and also interpretation make this approach distinct from other approaches and this approach believes that language manifests and constitutes social processes and interaction okay so there are some assumptions on the nature of discourse so historical approach says that discourse always involves power and ideologies power and ideology always attached with the uh, discourse. And discourse is always historical. Its beginning uh, goes back to the history, any particular event of the history. So uh, historical and discourse analysis is an interpretation of communicative events. So after analyzing, after interpreting the communicative events in the history, it begins. Okay, so Odak and Ludwig 1999 conclude that the right interpretation does not exist. A hermeneutic approach is necessary. So let me just tell you what a hermeneutic approach is. Hermeneutic approach means, or hermeneutic, the word, the term hermeneutic means the interpretation. Interpretation of any text in relation with other uh, factors maybe environment or other actors, whoever, you know, uh, concerned with the particular discourse. So if you understand it with the interaction, with the interpretation along with this, then that becomes hermeneutic, hermeneutic approach that is necessary. And anything does not give meaning alone. It has to be uh, connected with other components, other factors existing at that particular time or location. So interpretation can be more or less plausible or adequate, but they cannot be true. The interpretation can be varied, can be different from individual to individual, from time to time, from you know, place to place. So that's why its nature is the nature of uh, the nature of interpretation can be plausible. It is never, you know, absolute or never true. So that has to be considered. And there are some theoretical aspects of uh, historical approach to uh, critical discourse analysis. So uh, discourse historical approach, DSA, that follows complex concept of social critique by embracing three interconnected aspects related to the dimension of Cognition and action, okay? Discourse, cognition and action. Three things, remember, okay? So, text or discourse, immanent critique, the discovering, you know, inconsistencies, self, contradiction, a paradoxes and dilemmas in the text internal or discourse internal structure. Even within the text, there can be some paradoxical, contradictory elements, or there can be some kind of dilemma within the text that has to be analyzed. And socio-diagnostic critique says that, you know, revealing and demystifying persuasive, demystifying means, you know, making clear or persuading a manipulative nature of discourse from a wide frame of social structure. So what message the particular discourse or talk or, or let's say text give to the society? It has to be connected with the society, social aspect, social you know, uh, structure, and then the meaning should be uh, interpreted, okay? So in, in this approach. And prognostic critics, 
contributing to transformation and improvement of communication. So always you keep in mind one thing in critical discourse analysis, always one thing that is the transformative function, transformative you know, motive. Transformative means it does not only indicate the problem, it does not only show the or reveal the problems you know, uh, inherent in the text, it tries to improve or it tries to improve the existing situation or the, you know, uh, the, the problem, it tries to solve the problem and try to change in the life, in the society. So transformative is very, very key term in critical discourse analysis, okay? Transformation. So it is not concerned with evaluating what is right or what is wrong, rather it tries to show why certain interpretation of discursive events seem more valid. Discursive events, discursiveness, you know that. That means one after another, in the process of meaning making, uh, the nature of discourse goes like this way, one after another. It will have a kind of discursive nature, discursive events that has to be interpreted and it shows how it is valid or not. It does not say that it is right or wrong. So meaning of discourse in historical approach, what meanings can be uh, withdrawn through historical approach? So written and spoken language as a form of social practice. Remember social practice. So if you have read the text of Fair Clock, clearly three layers of interpretation uh, Fair Clock uh, advise, advises us, for, for example, first one textual level, discursal level or discursive level or discursive practice, and then next one social practice into three levels as Fair, uh, Fair Clock, uh, Fair Clock, you know, uh, advised us, recommended us the interpretation way. Here comes the social practice, domain of social practice, okay? A way of signifying uh, a particular domain of social practice from particular perspective, okay? And linguistic social practice, even in the level of linguistics, there will be the social practice, a complex bundle of simultaneous and sequentially interrelated linguistic acts, which manifest themselves within and across the social fields of actions. So this is how we can derive, you know, we can, we can withdraw the meaning and are, are realized in both genres and text. This can be realized. And the uh, meanings of discourse in historical approach can be contextual or it, it, it has to be contextual analysis of the talk or text. It has to be taken to the context of that particular time and in that particular place, okay? So context in discourse historical approach refers to four things. The immediate language or text internal co-text. Co I have talked a lot, co-text, context. Co-text means the context within the text. Even within the particular discourse, there we can find a kind of context. So we, are, we need to find out, for example, backgrounding, foregrounding, referencing. So how the context has been created within the text that has to be analyzed. Uh, and that is one context. And another one is, uh, another one is the intertextual and interdiscursive relationship. Interdiscursive means one text to another text. They may have some kind of relationship the particular discourse may have the relationship with another uh, discourse, another text, that's what we call intertextual interpretation and interdiscursive relationship between a trances, a text, or genres, or discourses. So, so nobody speaks all of a sudden or in vacuum, the utterance comes from uh, somewhere else or there can be something behind or background, in background, okay? So that, that has to be analyzed, which we call intertextual or interdiscursive relationship of the discourse. On the extra linguistic or social or sociological variables and institutional themes of specific context of situation. So that is what I know we, we discussed last time, middle range theories, grand theories, 
middle range theories and local theories or grounded theories. There are different types of theories. And the broader socio-political and historical context which the discursive practices are embedded in and related to grand theories. So Urak and Sajil uh, prescribed these four uh, context for discourse historical analysis. And there are some characteristics of this approach. Interdisciplinary uh, problem oriented, electric and did, uh, abductive. Okay, so abductic means you know inductive, you know deductive, but you don't know yes, abductive. I, I am sure abductic means so in between deductive and inductive methods. Okay, neither it is completely inductive nor it is completely deductive. So that's what we call uh, did, uh, abductive. And electric means you know it is um, it is it is you know, plausible, it is flexible, uh, it is problem oriented. And similarly, recontextualization of actions, taking historical account of actions, and multiple genres and their intertextual and interdiscursive relations are studied here. Categories and tools of analysis are defined according to the steps and procedures of the specific problem under investigation. And grand theories serve as, as, as the foundation over here. Grand theories, meta, you know, theories, you know, theories, grand theories and middle range theories and the local theories are grounded theories. So practice is the target over here. So some methods and procedures of analysis you can see over here. So if you are applying historical approach to discourse analysis, you can select a selection of the text or problem to be investigated first step. And then second step, uh, you can see discussion of the core text and the context of the object of investigation. What types of context is created within the text and what is the context you know, of that particular text? You need to talk both core text and context. Setting objectives and formulating P, uh, precise research questions. You need to uh, set the questions for analyzing and exploring neighboring fields also. Neighboring fields means what are the fields related and collecting uh, data from field work and ethnography if necessary. If you have already made or published discourse, then it's okay. Otherwise, you need to go to the field. You need to collect some, you know, background information, historical information and uh, bring back. That's what we call data. And then organizing or let's say operationalizing the research questions into the linguistic categories, we can categorize them. Applying those categories sequentially into the text uh, to interpret the meaning. We have to uh, divide them into categories. We have to categorize these themes, okay? And then draw up the context diagram of the specific text and the fields of actions, making diagram, you know, like a diagram, you know, what is connected with what. After making the categories or themes, we can, uh, you know, draw the diagram. So establishing the specific context, contents and topics of the particular discourse with racist. We can, we can create such types of content, okay? Anti-Semitic or, or, or nationalist or, uh, you know, ethnicist ingredient, that kind, types of contents we can generate from the data and investigating the discursive strategies used in the discourse. So examining the context dependent uh, linguistic realization of this, you uh, know, discriminatory, stereotypes we can we can do it so this is how i i, I finished talking about the historical approach to uh, discourse analysis now let's have a discussion okay uh if you have any question you can raise the question now anyone please sorry it is semantic or semantic Semiotic. Semiotic. It is Semiotic. derived from semiosis. Say, sir, semiosis means sign, uh, the, the study of signs and symbol, no? Exactly, yes. Yes, you are right. And anti semiotic means uh, just only language, not only sign the language. Only the language, yeah. Anti uh, you know, uh, semiosis means, you know, 
so we do not see much about the uh, language or, or I mean language gestures or extra linguistic features over there because we derive the text from the history. We take the text mm -hmm. from the history. That's why uh, in this, you know, this kind of feature we have to analyze. Mm. Okay. So any mm -hmm. question? Hello? Do you have any question, please? Hello? Yes. Who is speaking? Hello? Santosh, sir. Hello? Yamraj? Yes. Sir, are you listening to me? Santosh, sir? Yeah. Yes, sir. Listen. Are you listening to me, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am listening to you, Santosh, sir. You can uh, but speak. The, okay. But the picture uh, in the screen is uh, constant, it is, sir. Not moving? Not moving. Okay. Okay, Bandana, do you want to speak? You raise the hand. Why it is so, sir? Oh, Bandana is raising hand. I think she wants to say something. Okay, so now you can you can you can you can speak. Sir, anti-semiotic means sir. Anti-semiotic anti means you know excluding the sign language. Excluding. Mm -hmm. Excluding the sign language. Uh, yeah. Cortex means sir. Cortex. Cortex means, means related text. Yes. Related text. The context created within the text, within the discourse. Con content. Context, context created within the, yeah, within the within the discourse. Sir. Any question, please? Uh, okay. uh, now I will give you the you know uh, turn one by one. You need to you need to just you know uh, uh, speak over here. What did you understand? After you know, after watching the video, how many of you uh, watched the video I uh, recommended you? Sir, I did not get the video, but I went through the um, uh, slides that you sent for us for analyzing. Okay, uh, who is speaking? Uh, me. Yes, sir. Okay. And I have, uh, I have some high. Uh, I have written some of the key points that I that this is necessary for uh, for analyzing this uh, text uh, critically. So okay. I have written some of the points uh, about the theme that. Uh, 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 sir, uh, first of all, sir, you said us to go through the text deeply. Uh -huh. Then uh, you said us to find out the key points of that discourse. And okay. when I when I went in number one uh, along with Santo sir, uh, mm -hmm. that uh, rape case one, and uh, I uh, I felt that this uh, the key points for that uh, discourse. Number one is crime against humanity. Okay. And number two, uh, immense challenges yes. to women. Okay. Tendency to level out women sexually as what is called honor. Uh, honor. Okay. Women should never be free. Sanek uh, Niti also views women should be always under protection. Very and good. rituals like using clean bed, uh, clean white bed sheet on the wedding night. Mm -hmm. uh, this I I felt that these are the these were the key points to be highlighted over there. Okay. And uh, I, the, for giving the introduction, I wrote a small part. This mm -hmm. discourse falls under the critical discourse analysis of legal discourse. Okay. And uh, here, uh, rape is the uh, rape is the crime against humanity. Okay. That gives depression and the mental trauma to the victim. I wrote this much introduction. 
Okay. Then I so I I thought that I went that I thought that this discourse is, is uh, should be seen in the by the view of uh, feministic uh, uh, approach. Mm -hmm. Which approach did you uh, apply there? Uh, feministic approach. Uh huh. And okay. uh, then I felt that whether it is wrong or right, uh, then I left. Okay. But I wrote in this way, in my okay, copy. Okay, uh, you can you can just you know uh, if you have you know seen there the chat box, uh, chat, you can write you box. can write your views or questions or anything else there. Okay. Uh, okay. Sir. Okay. Uh, and any more, Shivani? Sir, I wrote this much. Then I am going. I wrote a data analysis. How I did uh, What was the data? Mm -hmm. And the data was taken from the um, provided discourse of the book. I wrote in that way. Okay. And I think still I need to, I need a lot of things from your side to do this analysis. Okay. Did you, did you find any uh, typical uh, terminologies or key phrases that could, you know, uh, indicate or hint about the social inequalities, uh, discrimination or gender biases? or power abuse kind of thing some terminology uh, yes. uh, in the text uh, yes so, so there is one uh, 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 thing no just like chanakya niti uh -huh, chanakya niti yeah it is our society societal perspectives then another one, sir, okay that one I, I felt that one maybe i may be wrong also but i felt okay. that one no problem and uh, another i feel that uh, Females are uh, uh, for this rape. First of all, the applicant will rape, and uh, this court or the society uh, does a double rape for the same victim by uh, giving lots of uh, pressure and trauma regarding the um, honor and dignity to their, and uh, they are forced to uh, sometimes commit suicide as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. So. Uh, thank you very much, Shivani. Uh, you you have you know uh, read the you know or you have you have tried to analyze the discourse or the text that I provided you. And uh, let me just tell you. So while analyzing the particular discourse or the text, you have to read first. I, I let me repeat again. You read first, and you read again. Read and reread. And you underline the particular vocabularies or terminologies or phrases or maybe sentences which can provide the clue for applying any uh, history, uh, let's say any, any critical discourse analysis approach. So, for example, if you are you know reading the text related with the rape case, so what other which sentence? In that particular, you know, text is hinting, is you know, providing the clue to uh, towards the you know, rape or discrimination or inequities. Some sentences may be there, some utterances may be there. You need to, you need to underline, and then you need to discuss or analyze later. Okay, so I advise you to do this. So thank you very much for your sharing. Now, uh, let me go to the next, you know, formula. Yes, sir. Can you just share what did you uh, do uh, after our class yesterday? Yesterday, I watched the video you recommended us. Mm -hmm. And I just collect some points from this video. Okay, please, you can share. Okay, about CDA in, in that video, on the basis of the video, CDA addresses social problems, power relations are discursive, discourse does ideological work, and discourse constitutes society and culture. Uh -huh. Discourse is historical. The link between text and society is mediated. Discourse is interpretative and explanatory. Discourse is a form of social action. Discourse is social practice. This point mm -hmm. I have collected in this video. Okay. Which one did you did you uh, did you watch? Did you did you watch all of them? Five videos. 
three. You was three. three. Okay. So uh, okay, good. Did you try to analyze the you know text that I provided you yesterday? Yesterday, what happened? You didn't send me email. That's why I I couldn't. Oh, I'm sorry to hear. So I have sent you the email. No, Please you didn't check once it. again. There you can find the email. Santoshar opened that you know email and then did his you know task. He he just informed me that he could be able to you know uh, open the word file, but he was reporting me that uh, PDF file was not uh, opened. I don't know what no, happened sorry. later. You didn't send me email. I started I saw us two three times, but your ah. email. I you Are you sure? Let yes, me let, let me check right now. Uh, yes, I will just you know show you how I sent you the email yesterday. Okay. Can you can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Uh, look at here. Okay. I have you no. Know, Okay, let me show you the email list. So Santos Mandal, Shivani Rai, Baburam Chaudhari, Savita Chaudhari, Kiran Kumar Chaudhari, Dharma Dev Chaudhari, Mamata Katel, Himraj Paurel, Bandana Subba, Anandas, Anand Sharma. Who is Anand Sharma? You know? I don't know. Uh, oh, how? Yes. yes, please. Anand, no, it's Anand. Oh. Excuse me, sir. Please. Hello. Uh, yes, I'm listening sir. to you. Uh, yes. So this is this is not my email ID, sir. Oh, Shivani. Who is yeah, speaking? my email ID is not this one, sir. Okay, I have sent you again. I have sent you again, and uh, Parmila so is my... missing. Not sir. No, not there. Not there. Let me ID. let me send you again. I mean, let me send you again. Uh, let me send you again. So. Uh, no, uh, yes. So, so please. And how did you? How did you? How, how did you find the video, Parmila? Yesterday, I was uh, some screenshot and from that, from there. Oh my God! So how difficult it is. So tell uh, me your, tell Mila. me your email uh, ID. Pramila Mehta. Pramila Mehta. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. And at the red gmail.com. Okay. Well, from so please, uh, spelling, can you check spelling? P-R-A-P-R-A-M-I-L-A-M-E-H. Not double T, sir. M-E-S-T-A only. Okay. Uh, so so please write my email id also it is wrong yes sir, yes, sir. now it's fine oh mommy oh mommy mommy you could have one too oh. mommy must get what is the mommy mommy what is it it's not full of money let me go up once again okay i will provide to you These are the link. So fine. It will be so, sir, uh, uh, my email ID also. Suhani? Yes. No, no, sir. Yes. My is Suhani, yes, sir. Suhani dot Rai 00123. Suhani dot Rai 00. Uh, 00123 at the Shiva Kumar Rai, uh, you have, see, I, I have your, name. yeah, I have your, you know, ID and I have sent you materials many times. But I did not give sir, yesterday's one. Oh, uh, you never check mail and then how can you find, see, Shiva uh, Kumar Rai, no? Excuse me sir, me Yes sir. Shiva yes. Kumar Rai, Bandana? Yes, I also don't get, but yes, get this. I... Is this your email ID or not? Yes, no, yes. No, it is not ours. Hey, no, not now. 
I, I, no, no, not uh, this one. Down uh, one. Down one. Down, 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 down one. Photo this of, one. Yeah, this beautiful photo. Yes, yes sir. sir. This one. Uh, beautiful photo. So write your name there in your yes. email. Okay, go and uh, reset. Yes, this is my. This is my email now. Okay. I'm okay. using this now. Okay, fine. I will send you again. So you can check. Yeah. So if you yes, if you have not got you know uh, the mail, then please you inform me. Okay, sir. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, now who's turn? Santosh sir? He is speaking, but he is on uh, mute. mute. Okay, mute, let me, mute. Uh, let me unmute. Okay. Okay, Santosh sir, can you? Mm -hmm. He is speaking. Still, oh. he is. Yeah. He himself has done, I think. Let me, let me, let me, let uh, me, unmute all. Uh, Santosh sir? He is still in mute. Hello? I don't know why he's on mute. Uh, he's in mute. Santosh sir? I think he is. No, 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 no. He has problem Hello? there. Yes, Hello? yes, yes, yes. <laughs> now I can Hello? hear. I can hear. Santosh sir, okay. So please speak uh, something about the uh, readings. Sir. Please. Uh, that is okay. Um, and I want to request one thing that. Okay. Uh, you had sent uh, email, no? Sample okay. text for the NLI, please. Uh -huh. And uh, and what about analyzing the text, following the, all the procedures that you should analyze during the analysis of this text? So what about, you mean, you know, you want to apply all the approaches there? No, no, no. I mean to say, let's analyze the text that you uh -huh. have sent as a first mail practically. Okay. So uh, I had given you to analyze individually the task. So have yes. you analyzed or not? Did you try or not? Yes, we had tried, sir. Okay. But, uh, I want to request you that mm -hmm. if we analyze the text uh, following all the procedures that should be applied here, mm -hmm. then it will be beneficial for us. Yeah, I of course. Of course. No, no. You, I understood, Santosh sir. You are just telling to yes, uh, telling me to analyze and give you ready-made, you know. Uh, but you know, I am no, giving no, you sir. the task. I, no, sir. No, uh -huh. no, no, sir. No, no, sir. I mean not to say to provide us ready-made uh, analysis, uh -huh. but let's uh, analyze at this time, sharing our ideas and okay. give us clue and what sort of procedures and what should be uh -huh. done during analysis. Sure, sure. We can do that also. I will provide mm -hmm. you some sample as well, but uh, you submit from your side how much you can, how much you have understood the yes. procedures, yes. the strategies of analyzing or critically uh, analyzing the discourse, you show up your, you know, understanding first, and then Sir, uh, I will uh, I will uh, I will discuss on that. Okay. Uh, uh, we try from your side. Yes, sir. Uh, when I analyze this text, then I underline some of the lines. And first line was crime against humanity, okay. and second one is have been made to control rape kind and uh, laws have been made to control rape uh -huh. and next one is people often take on ideology dogma uh -huh. that woman woman should never be free and uh -huh. and there are some of the lines and last one is clean white bed sheet on the waiting night okay and good. i have underlined these points very good point so like this remember yes, sir. Such types of lines that you have to underline first, yes. okay? And then what yes, you uh, what you need to do uh, after <coughs> identifying the key phrases or key terminologies, then you yes. need to start writing. First, you need to uh, introduce. Mm. So what what types of you know uh, discourse it is or that is, and then mm. how that is produced. And what methods you are applying to analyze method, methodology part, and then you start the analysis with the data. Sure. Data means you can collect such types of you know 
so i mean uh, collect the terminologies or the key phrases that you have already underlined and you so, analyze okay what is the relation of relationship of this terminology or or the phrases or sentences with the society with the power with the discrimination with the inequalities uh with the knowledge kind of uh, thing. sir okay. i want to request you that let's analyze the case in group under okay. your guidance okay sir okay, okay. i want to respond in that let's analyze this uh, text now in groups mm -hmm. and just uh, give us guidelines and uh, line by line okay sir okay that's fine you are you are the same yeah, first, first you be my my request to you santo sir you do from your side something okay how much you okay. can do okay yes. and then yes. uh, share in the group over here like this you know you can share you have if you are using laptop you can share your analysis and then we can yes. discuss okay sir whatever okay. key point that we that we highlighted uh, th that means the whatever key point we are highlighting or underlining mm -hmm. so that that all lines are that the data for that analysis sir of course of course of course then sir we are going to write, write just like a paragraph yeah of or, course or, or just you, like you, we are we are going to mm -hmm. follow a procedure of uh, that so suppose i chose uh, i chose this um, feministic approach now i need to uh, i mean analyze all this data according to that uh, procedure the feministic post procedure sir in that way yeah of course of course of course you just you know underline you can you you, you find out the a uh, key phrase phrase which can indicate the you know um, uh, let's say uh, related to you know the the area related to your approach for example uh, which terminologies are talking about the domination which terminologies are talking about the you know uh, power power relationship which terminologies are related to the you know uh, gender biases so you can underline first or which sentence or which sentence is creating what context there you underline first and you finish one level of interpretation that is what we call linguistic interpretation or discursive you know practice what is there what language itself speaks about the you know uh, uh, you know meaning first layer and then second layer you can connect these utterances these sentences these phrases in the society with you know power with other things okay so three layer three layer of interpretation you need to do remember first one textual first one sir first one sir first one is textual text textual level uh, textual level okay uh, second one level, is dis discursive discursive and then third one is social social <coughs> okay so we say text discursive practices and then social practices that is what you know three layers of you know uh, analysis interpretation who talked this norman fraco you know fraco no, Norman Fairclough uh, talks Fair Law. about Fair Law. three layers of interpretation or analysis of the discourse. That's what we call critical discourse analysis. And uh, mm -hmm. okay, so did you understand something there? In this three layers of yes, interpretation. Sir. Yeah. So please, you read the text of Norman Fairclough. Fair, Fair okay, Fairclough's text. You read it, and then you understand. Uh, now, now, anybody others, please? Have you prepared something to share in the group? Sorry, from my side. Please. 
How many are we here now? Please, Bimala, Abandana, are you going to share something? Sorry, sir. Uh, yesterday's slides and uh, video, I so get maybe late or uh, I didn't go through properly. Mm -hmm. Um, next time I will okay. prepare prepare no for all. So who is ready and today? Any anybody? Please, uh, are you ready there? Nobody is ready. Sir, I only know that today <laughs> we read a historical approach. This is the first approach uh, of CDA and um, historical approach is pioneered by Ruth Wardak. Mm -hmm. It uh, related with history itself okay. and uh, it focuses on social variables. Okay. Uh, it related to, I know this more suddenly. Okay. Okay. Santosh sir. Ruth Wardak. Yes sir. Okay. Say something please. Sir. Historical approach is known as problem based study, no sir? Mm -hmm. uh, why do you say it problem based study, sir? Okay, very good question. Sir, can I try this one? Sure, please, Shivani. Uh -huh. So, this uh, historical approach was uh, developed by or introduced by Ruth Wardock, mm -hmm. and uh, actually, uh, this was uh, developed after the uh, to after the um, post war of austria mm -hmm. and the main purpose of uh, this approach was to find out the let us say the uh, layer or to understand to interpret why there was uh, the war and uh, mm -hmm. and i think because of this reason it tries to find out the written or spoken text of the history so it is called historical approach and it tries to find out the problem so it is also known as a problem based uh, approach, I think. Yeah. In my understanding. Problem of war. No, no, problem. Uh, problem what? based. Uh, what kind of problem? What? What? Okay. Linguistic. Okay, okay, okay. So, so, so. Look at, listen, uh, uh, Santosh, sir. Let me, let me uh, just tell you. Uh, yes, sir. So, every approach, remember one thing. Every yeah. uh, approach under the critical discussion analysis is uh, related to solve or uh, related to the problem solving. Remember one: the problem yeah. solving. Yeah. If any approach is not related, is not connected with problem solving. Yeah. Or bringing some changes or uh, transforming the existing situation, then that cannot be critical uh, discussion analysis. So historical approach as other approaches tries to solve the problem by indicating look at by indicating yeah. the particular you know problem in the text and the text uh, relate you know, relating to uh, to to the society in, yeah. in the time of you know past time let's say past time okay past time yes. remember all yes. the time what you have to remember is that it goes to the certain time in the past it what time how the you know the the, the, the problem was started it tries to yes. uh, find out it tries to source the mm -hmm. origination beginning of that particular problem right yes. so yes. without going back to the you know history Without analyzing the background, you cannot solve the problem, any problem. For example, yeah. for example, you can find some inequalities or uh, uh, let's say gender discrimination yeah. in your community, in your society. To solve that discrimination, 
you have to analyze how it began in the history. Yes. Okay. In the history, yes. uh, the role was given, different role, uh, uh, role was given there to uh, male and female because of the you know, different roles given to them, still they are discriminated. So you can say this one type of interpretation. You always try to bring some evidence, some instances from the history yes. and solve, try to solve the problem of your community or society with the help of discourse. So that's, yes. that's, that's, that's how uh, the approaches to critical discourse analysis are intended to solve the problems, okay? Yes. Sir, here in the book or guide uh, written one sentence okay. that is, uh, it is one of the characteristics of DSA, uh, historical discourse analysis characteristic. Mm -hmm. um, DSA approach is problem oriented, mm -hmm. not focused on specific linguistic items. What it means, sir? Very good, very good question. That's that that that's what I was trying to uh, convey with you. Eh? So, uh, uh, linguistic mm -hmm. items, linguistic elements means you know that is only the discourse analysis. Okay, if you see the disc, you know uh, linguistic parts, if you only see cohesive devices or references or pronouns, pronominals or nominals kind of thing, if you see and analyze that becomes the linguistic analysis, okay? Linguistic only. So, history, oh, you know, to make it critical, to make it, you know, historical analysis, you need to relate the text, the discourse with the problem, okay? And solving that particular problem. You cannot say that, okay, you cannot say that uh, uh, that Garud Puran is faulty. You cannot say only the Garur Quran many times, you know, speaks about the gender discrimination. You have to say how that can be changed, how that can be improved, how that can be solved then. Your analysis should provide some ideas to bring changes also, okay? To improve the situation, to solve that problem also. That's why it is not only related to the linguistic analysis. It is related with the problem solving. It is related with the, you know, uh, change, you know, uh, making or, you know, transformation, making transformation, being critical. So that is the point. It means uh, what is said by our forefathers, mm -hmm. it will be changeable. Uh, with the time context or what, sir? Yeah, if you, uh, for example, what your forefather said. Yes. Uh, that is the it may text. not be. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Uh, listen, listen one thing, listen one thing, please. Eh? Uh, what you have to understand here is that while analyzing the text, where from the text begin or from which you know, uh, time period, from which context, and what was the relationship of the text with the history, with the historical time. You need to analyze that, and then how you can change that, yeah. you know, uh, that, that, that situation, that problem that you are indicating in the text. Okay, so again, to make it to make it very simple, let me let me let me go to the same text. You know, uh, the Garur Puran. Garur Puran is you know longer longer discourse maybe uh, one text. Um, so from historical point of view, that can be analyzed. That in the history, in the time of gods or you know in the time of you know forefathers, there was the you know uh, there was no any rules. No one in laws. So the, the religion, religion was the ruling, uh, 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 let's say, guiding um, uh, principles. Yes. 
making people disciplined. And they made that, that time. But now we have a democratic government. We have you know, a system of governing right now. So we don't need that type of you know, religion again to govern us, discriminating you know, gender, like male and female. Like this yes. way you can analyze, okay? Yes. So if you analyze like this way, that becomes historical approach. Oh, okay. You connect Sir. the history Sir, yes, we got, we and got tries, to, uh, tries to solve the problem. Yes. Sir. Please. Hello. Yes. The uh, the theory and the methodology that I use in historical approach mm -hmm. is electric. What is electric means, sir? Good, good point. Okay, okay. Elective. So elective means you know that is uh, dialogic. Dialogic means what do you want to say by dialogic? Dialogic. Dialogic. Or that is not the rigid, let's say, that is not the rigid, that is flexible, that is plausible, that can be adapted according to the context, that can be changed or modified according to the context. Not rigid one, not fixed one, okay? Electric one. Not rigid, yes, sir. Not rigid. That's what we call electric. Flexible. Yeah. Rigid. You can Google, you can Google, please, you can Google. You can see the dictionary Oxford there. So to yes, understand sir. the meaning of these words, right? Eh? <laughs> sir, sir, it means the theory and the methodology that I applied in uh, the historical approach. Mm -hmm. They are changeable or flexible uh, in accordance to the time, no sir? Of course, of course. According to the context, according to the time, according to the place, you can modify, you can change, you can apply uh, sir. Sir. type of you know methodology. Sir, next one of the is that this, uh, this historical approach is abductive, no sir? What does yeah. abductive mean, sir? Abductive. I, <laughs> I explain you in the, you know, uh, during my presentation also. So anybody yeah. can you help him? Sir, abductive, sir. Sir, uh, sir, the, sir, the, sir I had, sir, I had heard that you had said that abductive means neither deductive uh, nor inductive, no sir? In between, in between. In between. Okay. In between. between deductive and inductive, nor completely, no, not completely, you know, deductive, not completely absolute. Nor sir, it is, it sir, is, you know, it is generated from the, you know, examples alone. It is in between. Sir, there. it is. It is hybrid form of inductive and deductive. Um. <laughs> so we cannot <laughs> say exactly hybrid. Uh, in hybrid, both are mixed, but yeah. in the, you know. Uh, circle, you can just make circle, three circles, I mean three layer of one circle and first yeah. at the bottom you can put their deductive, uh, sorry, inductive, then you write abductive and then you write deductive. So uh, let me, where, where can I give you this one example? I have no drawing. Uh, just a bit. How can I draw? Okay, it, it will not be possible over here. Anyway, uh, anyway, so uh, you cannot find the meaning of abductive in dictionary. Right? Okay. You, you have to search in internet. You can find it. Okay, sir. That means okay, uh, okay. abductive means, you know, uh, neither it is completely inductive way, hmm. nor it is deductive. It is in between some okay something can be related okay. with the inductive something uh, you know related with the deductive in so between inductive and deductive okay okay you can explore okay. more and more about this just um, abductive word you can remember now and you can explore more about it later back and forth between theories and okay so good so today, I will give you some, again, next task. But you, you need to be ready to say something. There are altogether eight uh, types of discourses. Okay. Let me show you. Mm, eight types of discourses. Historical, then after, historical, interdisciplinary. That is, approaches, that is. 
not not of mm. types of text mm. Mm. okay let me let me show you here let me show you over here uh huh seven type of fourth one fourth one eh uh here can you see my screen can you see my screen there yes we are seeing look at there uh, i i will divide over here to you critical analysis of legal discourse one of you have to you know has to read it critical uh, analysis of legal discourse and critical analysis of bureaucratic discourse another one has to read it you divide these eight uh, types of you know uh, article okay dividing all of you can you can you do it today and yes, tomorrow you, you can read and we can we can meet again the day after tomorrow monday mm, what this all eight uh, are uh, there are all together eight articles so eight first articles. one for, let me let me uh, give you your first one who will read first one i will read sir uh, will... legal sibani sibani so legal let me write the name here okay Okay. Sir, where it is? Slide. See the slide. Shivani. Shivani. Slide. You don't slide. need. Uh huh. Please. Which one, sir? Uh, critical analysis of legal discourse. Shivani. She will read and come on Monday at ten o'clock. Okay. Sir, where it is? Can't tell you. I have sent you slide an email. Slide my no, I have sent you an hmm? email. And Slide also, you can find in the in the in the, in the photocopy collection over here. Email, sir. Yeah, Shanto sir, you check email. So you know, timely, right? I need to start the slide. No, no, sir. After the start, you know, mobile. Okay. Second, second one, second text. Critical discourse. Uh, bureaucratic discourse. Who will read it? Me, sir. Uh, formula. Formula. Yeah. Okay. Let me write here. Formula. Uh, Promila. Okay, next one. Uh, critical discourse analysis of narratives of uh, narratives from you know what is that uh, recovery from psychiatric disabilities. Who will read this? Uh, psychiatric uh, Emraj. Emraj, can you listen? What do you say? Emraj. He is speaking. He is here? speaking. Uh huh, but not. I'm not listening. Sir, sir yesterday, uh, yesterday. No, excuse me, sir. Imraz, please. Hello. Yes, please. Sir, yesterday we read a um, discourse related to this uh, narrative. What this narrative of recovery from psychiatric disability? You uh, sir, there was a text of Nancy and Kelly. You have sent, but. We could not understand much about that discourse. Okay, this is the this is the article. Okay, uh, prepared through you know, with the you know, through the process of discourse analysis. I mean through the method of discourse analysis. This is the article. You do not understand in one reading. You try to read whatever you understand. You bring to the class. You share. We can discuss. Okay. Okay, sir. And business media discourse. Who will read? Ah, uh, Kiran Kumar. Business woman. Oh, in a newspaper, I will. Ah, uh, who? Is it? Kiran, okay. Kiran okay, sir. sir. Put my name. You read. Yes, you read. Okay, you read, please. Tomorrow, okay, when sir. you are uh, not tomorrow, Monday, when you come, Monday. you have to present five to seven minutes on that. Okay, yes, next one. Bandana. Newspaper. Bandana. Bandana. Yes, sir. Uh, Bandana, you will read this article. You can print and yes. you can read, okay? Eva Bowen, sir, Sorry. fourth. Whose name is mentioned in the fourth? This, business. Uh, business media. Yes. Kiran. Media. Kiran. Business. Sir, Kiran. Name. Yeah, there is a name at last. <laughs> okay. Business media. Media uh, related. And person. then press conference. One Bimala left. Bimala. Bimurai. Bimu, okay. Bimula. Bimu. And then uh, 
Who will read that, you know, oral text? No, Who is left? Nobody? Fakko sir, do you have? No, sir. Which one is mine? Uh, what you can read? Analyzing. Oral text? Of beauty, no. Wait, wait, wait. I will give you one thing. Critical analysis of ethnographic. Where is the classroom discussion analysis here? Uh -huh. Okay, I will give you one. Uh, Edward is, what is that? CDA and advertisement. CDA and advertisement discourse. This article. Santos. CDA. Santos. Okay. You read this article. Mm -hmm. And then you prepare some notes, important points, what you understood. What was the uh, introduction part? What was the, you know, uh, I mean, abstract introduction and what methodology was used? And how, what was the result there? So while reading, try to, uh, try to, you know, uh, make a note. <laughs> Sorry, have you sent this material to us? Of course, of course. I have sent you twice, not only one time. <laughs> so, but sorry to say, I don't have. You, would you mind sending me again? again? <laughs> so you have this text, these okay, articles sorry, in your photo, uh, Santo sir, in your photo yes, collection also you can find there. Right? You can find these in your photocopy as a textbook. But sir, uh, the materials that you have sent is only about rape. Okay, let me show you one video. I don't know whether you listen or not. Uh, just a minute. Can you can you listen sound here? Yes. Eh, not now, yes, not wait. Video okay. sound. Not wait. No sound. Oh, no sound. Did you? We cannot hear, sir. Look at here. Writing of discourse analysis. This video link I have sent you. What that? The pen. Thank you. Are you are you listening the video sound? No, no sir. sir. No sir. No. Oh, okay. So then you can uh, you can just get the idea from here. Excuse me, Bimala. Look at the introductory paragraph. Uh, how to write this? Introductory. Sorry, sir. Introductory paragraph. Describes what the scholars need to know the problem. Describes. 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 You can see what right. Abdul. Bola Okay, everybody, uh, please, uh, I would like to conclude class today. And I have sent you this video link. Hope you will, uh, you will, you will watch again. And it provides you how to analyze the text critically. Okay. Any question? Any question, please? Yeah.
क्लास ने Uh, and uh, i request you to watch this video link i mean video particularly youtube video many times you will get the idea how to analyze the uh, discourse critically and also you read your text that you have got and you can come to the class okay tomorrow क्वेश्चंस we can take few uh, minutes otherwise i will end of the class today and then uh, uh we need to go for you no know, lunch or something else yes energy is not uh listening i don't know he is not speaking uh, even 1 2 3 4 5 6 we are seven people here uh Uh, it was a you know, really nice discussion thank you all of you for thank you sir joining and discussing and i would like to stop the recording here thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you, sir. Yes. next class we have tomorrow or tomorrow yeah monday we will have monday Till tomorrow, on the Monday. Till Monday, we have.